Hello my beautiful people, happy new year! This is my first video for 2023? I can't even say that. <laughs> it's crazy. So we are starting this new year with a declutter video. I just finished lunch and I remember that I forgot to let you guys know something very important and that is that I'm the luckiest girl in the world for having you all here. Can't you see? I am so fucking blessed. I love you guys. So that's it. That's all I wanted to say. I am the luckiest girl in the world. <laughs> and that makes me so happy. Anyway, you want a mini croissant I made? Wait for the vlogs because I'm showing you how to make them. They're super easy to make and they're so freaking delicious. Mm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Uh, let me just get comfy here, okay? I don't care, don't mind the mess behind me. This is from last year. <laughs> if you guys follow me, you know that we must move from this place because the owner already sold the house. So we have like one month and a half, maybe. But the sooner we get out of this place, the better, okay? So... I said, you know what, I'm not going to carry all the stuff I'm not using anymore from past years. Makeup I bought years ago and I'm not using it anymore, probably because it's already expired. It must go because I'm not going to carry all that weight with me to the new place. The new place? It sounds weird. To the new place. Let's throw away my eyeshadow palettes I bought years ago. Honestly, it breaks my heart. This hurts, okay? Because I paid for them with my own money. And now I have to get rid of them. <laughs> Kill me now. What are you waiting for? <sighs> okay, enough with the drama. Let's switch to my phone. Okay, so I have my trash bag here. I cannot see what I'm doing because I'm filming with my back camera. But... Here I have my eyeshadow palettes and uh, no, they're not here. Only this one is here. Sorry. Uh, I have them here and you can't even see them because they are hidden in there. <laughs> it's painful. Anyway, let's start. So this, this is not the eyeshadow palette. I, I don't know why I do this, but I keep the boxes. I don't know why I do this. Anyway, let's start with this beautiful... This is the Vault by Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. I don't even remember when I bought this, but I know it's been years. And recently I used one eyeshadow. I think this one, yeah. Recently I used this eyeshadow. That's my cat. Mish, what the f***? Uh, and let me tell you, <laughs> I had a little bit of reaction on my eyes. And that's when I decided it's time for me to let go. We are not keeping things that we don't use anymore. Okay, let's make room for new stuff. Let's let the air flow. Let's... I'm making room for new stuff. Anyway, let's move fast. So, here we have four beautiful eyeshadow palettes, but let me tell you, I personally think the matte eyeshadow formula doesn't have the same consistency on all palettes, and I know it's crazy because, hello, it's Morphe, but uh, I, uh, I don't know exactly, I think this one, I don't remember exactly, I'm getting old, okay, my memory isn't that good anymore, but one of these eyeshadow palettes performed beautifully comparing to the other three uh you can go check my videos because as i said i did the first impressions on all four eyeshadows uh the let me tell you let me tell you the metallics and shimmers are so beautiful so creamy so buttery especially the shimmers are beautiful uh, i'm going to throw everything i have in here but i just want to you know, remember the good old days when I used to love and enjoy and use these eyeshadow palettes. 
we have oh my goodness this was my favorite collaboration even though the color selection is not my favorite <laughs> this is the dream street kathleen lights in colourpop eyeshadow palette collaboration i love colourpop eyeshadow formula and i feel like they got better and better with the years the color selection wasn't really my vibe but let me tell you the matte eyeshadows are so beautiful so big oh so pigmented <laughs> so easy to blend they're not patchy it truly truly breaks my heart to you know say goodbye but <laughs> we will meet again in another life maybe <laughs> i won't forget you you were my baby kathleen lights i'm sorry oh okay we have another color pop collaboration and this one is with shayla i i know it sounds harsh but i used to love shayla love the good old youtube days like i used to binge on makeup tutorials like i learned so much makeup tricks and hacks from kathleen let's no, this is Jacqueline. From Jacqueline, light. <laughs> From Jacqueline, you have no idea. Like, in my eyes, she was the most talented YouTuber out there. And don't get me wrong, there's plenty of talented people out there. But we all know Kathleen Lights. She's a basic bitch. Shayla was uh, doing great with her makeup tutorials. But now they don't do makeup anymore. Like, these bitches switched content anyway she came up with this collection like to fit her skin tone okay none of these highlighters looked good on me because i'm super white okay especially in the winter i'm white af so uh, beautiful highlighters i did use them sometimes as eyeshadows no i'm not gonna get rid of them these are blooming and pose and uh, hear me out they are old as fuck <laughs> it's okay bitch it's okay so I've been following Shayla for a while. I think I discovered her through uh, Daisy Perkins and Katie. Uh, they were friends. Now they're not anymore. I don't know what happened. <laughs> so as I said, her makeup tutorials inspired me a lot. And she's super talented. And when she came up with this collaboration, I knew I had to have it. And uh, I do love this eyeshadow palette. The color selection is right on my alley. I love every single eyeshadow from this palette. This was absolutely beautiful, like stunning, stunning. Uh, so freaking beautiful. I love this eyeshadow palette. <laughs> Let me tell you the names. She nailed it with the names like spill the tea, I'm bothered, the fuck. I love the design on it. It came with a mirror. Uh, the Kathleen Lights one doesn't have a mirror as we already saw but this one has more weight on it and it feels so nicely done um, I love this one I loved this collaboration I don't know why I didn't use this eyeshadow palette more often and more but probably because I got so many eyeshadow palettes at the same time and I was like overwhelmed I didn't know what to use <laughs> um, I I used to love makeup. I mean, I still love it, don't get me wrong, but I feel like... I don't know, I don't know. I don't want to say it. Let's go with this one from Sleek Makeup. I think this was my first colorful eyeshadow palette I bought. And uh, I couldn't find, like, different brands. This is the only one I could find at the time. This is so very old. This is so very old. So I wanted something like pastel but very colorful and so beautiful and like neon and bright and uh, whatever so i bought this eyeshadow palette and surprisingly the formula is so nice uh honestly it doesn't hurt my heart <laughs> saying goodbye to this one because i can buy this anytime but the collaboration i just showed you guys they are not available anymore you know what i mean so that i guess that's why i kept them I don't have that many eyeshadow palettes, I don't know if I mentioned this, but <laughs> I do have a few. Anyway, let me go with this beautiful, huge eyeshadow palette from NYX. This is the Swear By It. And oh my goodness, when I bought this, I just instantly felt in love. 
I think it was my first time trying NYX eyeshadow formula and honestly it didn't disappoint i love the shimmers they are not crazy intense but you can make them work definitely you can use a um, mixing liquid so you make them more intense but the mattes in here they are so freaking gorgeous and uh, i remember the formula being a little bit more powdery but it's okay it's okay they worked for me and i used to love this special palette so again it doesn't hurt my heart saying goodbye to this one i don't know why because i loved you and as you can see i didn't even had the chance to use every single eyeshadow in this palette i swear by it okay but it's time to say goodbye goodbye my lover goodbye my friend okay moving on <laughs> Uh, you guys, I have two Anastasia eyeshadow palettes, then I have, this is a highlighter palette, and two Carly Bible and BH Cosmetics palettes. This is the first one they came up with. I was so in love, but the only issue I had with this little eyeshadow palette is that we didn't have like crazy intense shimmers like shimmery shades like where's the glitter i love that it says aspire to inspire that's my motto okay i aspire to inspire and um yeah i loved this one and then they came out with a bigger one this is the deluxe edition this one is uh, bigger as we can see same concept same packaging same style like this pearly beautiful white style uh and this one is a little bit more colorful which it was my cup of tea but i had an issue with this one as well like we don't have a darker brown or black eyeshadow in this one this is the darkest one and it's not even matte it's not matte anyway i love this one again it says aspire to inspire such a beautiful coat carly bible i love her she's so humble she's so beautiful she's so talented uh, I love these two face highlighters. Oh my god, they look so beautiful on the face. I kind of don't want to get rid of this palette just because of these two highlighters. Moving on, <laughs> we have this beautiful... This is not an eyeshadow palette, but it's still a palette. <laughs> this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. They had more glow kits, but I think this was the only collaboration with an influencer youtuber whatever so of course i had to have it because you know i love nicole guerrero as well i learned a lot of stuff from her especially when it came to hair tutorials she in my eyes she was the queen of hair tutorials back in the days when i first got my hair extensions i didn't know how to style them i didn't know how to hide them in my hair so i think that's how i found nicole on youtube and she had beautiful red hair. I was in love when she came out with this collaboration and Anastasia. I used to love Anastasia. I don't know what happened. I mean, I know they're shady people. Anyway, it was such a huge demand. So they bring this back. And of course, I had to buy it again because this was getting old already. And this is the second one. As I told you, I was obsessed. And let me tell you, this is not cheap. Like Anastasia makeup is not cheap. What the heck? I loved every single shade in here. Not the white one, but when I filmed like more creative eye makeup tutorials, it came in handy, okay? Uh, these are a little bit too glittery in my opinion, but it was a thing back in the day, you know? When people used to apply highlighter on their face this was the shit okay so of course i had to have it okay last but not least we have two anastasia eyeshadow palettes and again okay this was the first one that i purchased again anastasia is so freaking expensive like bitch why the fuck are you this expensive like anyway so this was my first anastasia eyeshadow palette everyone sweared by this eyeshadow palette everyone used this in their tutorials like it was the shit back in the day like it was insane so of course i had to have it 
I had to have it, okay? The majority of the shades didn't look good on me. I don't know why, probably because they are a little bit too cool toned for me. It, like it has that velour fabric on it. It gets dirty so freaking fast and if you try to clean it, it won't work, okay? So I didn't like that about it, but I love the soft touch and um, it was innovative back in the day. Shh, shh, let's, let's hear it together. ASMR moment. I think I had an orgasm. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, wow, this is such a nice mirror. <sighs> this is such a sad moment for me. I will definitely regret this. But it's time for me to let go. This is the very controversial sculpture. I'm sorry, <laughs> subculture eyeshadow palette again from Anastasia they have the same concept this soft velour fabric on it like I loved mostly all of the shades in here I don't think I ever touched this one or this one uh, other than that I did like this eyeshadow palette this beautiful fudge brown is such a rich warm toned brown so beautiful so pigmented so intense this is insane let me tell you anastasia eyeshadow formula is not beginner friendly so if you are new to makeup new to eyeshadows i do not recommend their formula because it's intense as fuck so uh, you will get frustrated very fast because when i bought this one this was super controversial let me tell you because everyone sweared the formula is not the same as the formula on this eyeshadow palette but i don't know somehow for me it worked and i kind of got a little bit of hate for that <laughs> uh i used to love this one but i didn't use it as much as i would love to it's time to move on it's time to <sighs> let the air flow in here okay okay listen i switched to my front camera because i want to see what the heck i'm doing but i have more eyeshadow palettes in here so uh, i definitely need to let this one go but i won't just because i feel like it's only three years old like when did chris and dominic came up with dominic cosmetics brand i think it's been three years right like i don't want to get rid of it okay i'm going to get rid of this little eyeshadow palette this is from zoeva is the voyage soft sun such a beautiful tiny little palette this is perfect for on the go you have a matte dark eyeshadow so you can create that beautiful smoky eye and then you have color so you can get creative i love this one again i don't think it's that old but if i will ever have the chance to buy it again i will totally do it take a look at it it's so beautiful and the shades inside are so cute and so pigmented a banger okay uh next i need to get rid of this bella pierre peach blossom i think i got this one two years ago in a subscription you have only one matte shade which is this beautiful orangey fiery orange shade and then the rest of them are shimmers but you can also use them as face highlighters i need to let this one go as well because um, no i'm not using it why should i keep it like I'm sorry, Bella Pierre. I'm sorry. It's okay. So, I'm sorry. Okay. Forgive. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. <laughs> uh, okay. Next, we have this Carity Blush Bomb. I think I used this like twice. Again, I bought this a while ago. It's cruelty free and vegan. Oh my goodness. Carity Beauty sponsor me <laughs> i love this one uh but I, i'm not using it i'm not using no i'm not using it it's okay it's okay it's okay, it's okay. what else do we want to get rid of honestly i don't want to get rid of anything else but uh it's time to make some room in here 
in here this is my i call it my beautiful draw because it has all of my most used eyeshadow palettes in here and uh, i know i have some that i need to get rid of oh i am <laughs> i'm gonna get rid of this little one <laughs> this is from violet vase and again it was my first ever violet vase uh, eyeshadow palette like it was my first time trying their formula their eyeshadow formula this is the creme brulee i did a first impressions on it and oh my goodness the formula is so freaking beautiful so creamy so pigmented the shimmers in here are insanely shimmery and pigmented and beautiful and i don't know why i haven't used this one like more again if you see this online get it so freaking out of this world okay take a look so beautiful and creamy and um i just want to lick it <laughs> but this makeup what the okay listen i have more stuff to get rid of but i'm not gonna do it okay just because i feel like they are not wait a second i just saw something i saw something oh, yeah i need to get rid of this one as well <laughs> No, not my Zulu palette. I think this was my second colorful eyeshadow palette. The first one was this one from Sleek palette, okay? And I think this was my second very bright, colorful, neon, almost like eyeshadow palette. I love this one so much and I feel like I don't want to get rid of it, but it's so old. And again, you can still find it online, if I'm not wrong. I'm sorry, Zulu, Juvia, you're absolutely gorgeous. Like, you can see the details on this picture. Absolutely fucking beautiful. Um, let me gather myself for a little bit. <laughs> Spending time with you. Uh, it was my pleasure, truly. But I want my money back. <laughs> like, can you imagine how much money is in here in this little bag uh at least 200 euros <laughs> i think more than that because the anastasia eyeshadow palettes they are expensive so this is the aftermath you guys i think this is a reminder to let things go no matter how much you care about them no matter how much you cherish them you will always have them in your heart okay but it's time to let go of the physical material things you know you will always have the memories that's all it that matters so if you came across this video this is your sign okay get rid of that stuff that no longer serves you it will only weight you down oh my goodness wait i just remembered i have something else i need to get rid of <sighs> there they are i think i bought these last year i saw this girl on instagram claiming that these are a dupe for the p louise eyeshadow bases p louise has these beautiful colorful eyeshadow bases and this girl claimed uh, that these are a dupe let me tell you they are not do not buy them okay do not buy them yes they are affordable it says cruelty free i don't know what to say about that uh i got them on aliexpress they're like colored water they dry super fast they're not pigmented you need to apply a shit ton of it so you can see a little bit of pigment in there they dry super fast they are they aren't supposed to dry because you need to go with eyeshadow on top of them so you have to have this sticky base for the eyeshadow to stick on it if i'm not wrong that's exactly how p louise works luna 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 Que pasa, vino? She wants attention. Vino. Cuéntame qué pasa. Oh, her little bows are so cold. <laughs> they burnt my eye. I used this only one on one eye. Like I had this reaction, okay? My lid was super red and itchy and it was burning. So I do not recommend this. I bought this on AliExpress, as I said, it's not worth it. Yeah. In the trash pile it goes. 
So yeah, my beautiful people, this was my declutter video. I know I said I'm going to get rid of my eyeshadow palettes, but I, uh, you know, I cleaned a little bit of the face palettes as well because they need to go. They need to go only and because they are old, okay? Um, there's no other reason for me to throw away my makeup besides the fact that they are old and I'm not using them anymore. As I was saying, if you guys came across this video, it's a sign, okay? Get rid of that old stuff and don't put it on your face, okay? It's a sign, trust me. So, there you have it, my beautiful people. This was my first video for 2023. I can, have, I can, I can, I can say that. <laughs> my brain doesn't work. Um, it was a declutter video. I'm letting go. To the things that no longer serve me and also i feel like i created beautiful memories using these eyeshadow palettes so yeah it has a sentimental value for me okay i'm not a heartless bitch <laughs> i do have a heart a small heart is in there is in there <laughs> anyway so i hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't already take care and i will see you guys in my next one bye